They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's here. <sighs> EJ! <sighs> So sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> He's jumpy, little guy. You gonna be okay? He can't go around punching people in the. You know, and expect me to eat at the same table. <laughs> I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? Hey, that's gross. He should stop. So, we should talk about what just happened. It was an accident. I know. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. Hmm. If they don't, let's go show them how wrong they are. I think I'll stay here. With the bird. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. There's that girl I bet. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it, you just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. No, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty, and your apology. I did it! You sure did. I'm not sure anyone would pledge to that. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? AJ, give it back to him. Okay.
Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. Gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know. Bye. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Mmm, yes. Redolent of rosemary. Lemon... Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, 
Heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet! It's time! What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Oh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Hey, I win! Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, w what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh... Ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. Never. Not even once? Never. Ha, <laughs> I win. So, Clem. You can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Victory Violet. 
Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Lewis, definitely. 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 What? I'd have said the same. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey! She wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That... sounds like a rough day. <laughs> yeah. Worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah. It's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Good night. Night, AJ. Hey, long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys, relax. Get some sleep. Feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. Only way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. 
After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Well, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, up there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man, this bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Nobody's gonna come in. Trust me. That girl just came in. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too.